and he became their poet, the poet of the Yukon. Very bright man. He opened the newspaper and was part of all those miners' lives. They wrote a poem, many, four books. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what they read, you know. Miners reading poetry. He wrote a poem called The Cremation of Sam McGee. And this is the prologue. And I'll give you the prologue. And he wrote about, well, you'll pick it up as time goes on. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. Mm. The other trails have the secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights, your or somebody else, the northern night, the northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was the night on the marge of Lake Labarge, <laughs> I cremated Sam McGee. That's the prologue. Now, Sam McGee was from Tennessee, okay. where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he left his home in the South to roam around the pole, God only knows. He was always cold, but the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. And he'd often say in his homely way, I'd sooner live in hell. Mm. And then it goes on for about 16 more verses. He's going to read it to me. And, and one day, Sam McGee wanted to kick the bucket. And 